What is up, Techno fam? What's going on? Chana D here with a quick, quick video. And we are going to be talking about 4K 120 hertz or HDMI 2.1 on the Yamaha RX V6A. And unfortunately, this does affect the RX V4A, the RX A2A, and the TSR 700. So I made a video a little while back saying 4K 120 hertz doesn't work with this AV receiver. And I got a bunch of comments saying, oh yeah, dude, delete this video. Uh, they're gonna come out uh, with a firmware update in the summertime and fix this. Well, that's really not what's happening. In fact, I got some new information. I'm just gonna read off the page here. Uh, so everybody knows exactly what's happening. All right, so here we have the affected models are the RX V4A, the RX V6A, RX A2A, and the TSR700. And basically 4K 120 Hertz does not work out of the box and they are not coming out with a firmware update to fix the situation. 100% they are not releasing a firmware update to fix this situation. What are they doing? A free update program will be available starting in fall of 2021 to update the HDMI board on these AV receivers to allow for the 4K 120Hz signal transmission with these source devices, meaning you're going to have to send in your AVR to get this fixed. So again, there is no firmware update for these models to get 4K 120Hz working. This HDMI board update is complimentary to customers for 24 months after the program starts. We will provide an update of the next steps here this summer. Be sure to register your product to be notified of the next steps and receive direct communication about the update program. I will leave a link to register your Yamaha down in the description. So if you haven't, you're going to want to make sure you do and hope it's not going to take more than a month to get this thing back. Let's continue reading. Please note you will not need this HDMI board update unless you are planning to connect an Xbox Series X gaming or an NVIDIA RTX 30 video graphic card device at 4K 120Hz signal transmission. These AV receivers above currently support HDMI pass-through of 4K 60 signals with HDR, HDR10, and Dolby Vision and may be used with the latest gaming devices. These AV receivers currently support HDMI eARC, which allows 4K 120 sources to be connected directly to a compatible TV with audio fed to the AVR via eARC. The newly released RX A4A, RX A6A, and RX A8A are unaffected by the pass-through issue, requiring only a future firmware update to enable certain HDMI 2.1 capabilities. So there you have it, people. There you have it. This is broken. And the bottom line is, if Denon and Marantz could not fix this issue without having to create an extra box, then Yamaha would have to be doing the same thing. And I kind of knew that already, which is why I said in my previous video that 4K 120 is broken. And it has the same issue that the Denon and Marantz's do. Except for the fact that, like, the Denon and Marantz PS5 actually did work with their 2020 AV receivers without the extra add-on box. But uh, the Yamaha won't even do that. So, yeah. There you have it, people. There it is. Quick video. See you later. Bye.